What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game Video here. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa 2. Goodbye to despair. In the last episode, we had a pet freaking die, and I'm mad about it. It's fine. It's whatever. It, I definitely didn't fail miserably. Anyway, there's bombs. We located the bombs. And we got to figure out where the heck, what, what the heck we're going to do with all of this bomb scare. So, we're here. We're out for it. And honestly, Nagito makes me mad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I go to the plushie factory, I need to meet up with Sonya at the military base first. Yeah, because freaking Sonya going away from everything and kind of... What? How did it... Okay. Now we can give it presents. Let's honestly spam freaking presents right now. Do I have to get 10? I might. 10 hope, 0 despair. I believe in us. I don't believe in us, but let's try it anyway. Military base, because freaking Sonya! Getting in our way. What are you doing out here? Sonya, there she is. What is she doing in a place like this? Yeah, what the heck, Sonya? Russell, Russell. Looks like Sonia is digging around the back of the truck. Hey, what are you doing? My. Hi, Amy. Please don't start me like that. Whew. I thought my heart was going to explode. Explode. Anyway, what are you doing here? Weren't you searching the central island? Um. I was. But there was something I needed to confirm here. Never mind that for now. We found them. What'd you find? The bombs, obviously. They found the bombs at the plushie factory. Huh? huh? The bombs are at the factory? Let's hurry over to the plushie factory. The others should be there, too. Hey. What are you stalling for? If we don't hurry, we'll be too late. You are right. I understand. I shall make it there, my way there shortly, so please go on without me. Huh? I am sorry. It is going to be fine. I will catch up with you soon. G got it. Then I'll start heading over there. I don't know what Sonia wants to do, but there's no time to argue with it. I left Sonia for now and decided to go to the plushie factory. I disagree with this call, but okay, okay. Anyway, the bomb is the biggest priority. I should hurry up to the plushie factory. I really disagree with that call. Why? Huh? Hmm? Where's Sonia? I told her about the bombs, but she wouldn't listen to me. She said she'd catch up with us later. Mm -hmm. Later? Why? She knew. She should know that now isn't the time for that, but... Can I go bring her? Dumbass. You really think that there's time for that? You freaking dumbass. Oh, you're right. We need to stop the bombs first. All right, let's go. We steeled our nerves in charge of the factory. The first thing I noticed was the roaring engine of the nearby truck. A truck? Why? There's a truck parked in the middle of the factory. A lot of dangerous looking objects are loaded into the bed of the truck. Hey, 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 Those hey, things hey, on top of the bed. Is that it? Damn it? I don't know how powerful they are. Or if they are enough to power enough power to blow up the island, entire island, but there is there are that many if there are that many, they are extremely powerful. Did you really did he really drive this truck and carry over all of these bombs? Damn it. Kazuichi, can't you disarm the bombs? You're good at this kind of stuff, right? Hmm. I thought I could, but it looks like the engine is also acting as the detonator. Damn it. So that's why the engine is still running. The bombs are set up so that when the engine stops running, the insulator will blow off the, and the trigger the explosion. I don't care how it's built. Can you disarm it or not? Uh. It's impossible. I don't have enough time. The main detonator was put inside this bulky metal box and welded shut. There's no way I can disarm it if I can't get in this thing open. So it's going to take you a long time. That's not good. I mean, it's almost... This is bad. Yeah, noon. Mm. What if we use the tools at the military base? Hey, hey, hey. We don't have time for that. The truck's engine is the detonator, right? Then can't we stall for time by adding gasoline? It's no use. The fuel cap has been welded on too. I'm gonna do it. Then I'll drive this truck into the sea. Bastard. You can't. 
You don't even have a driver's license. Hmm? Uh, are you seriously going to stop me? I thought your family was all about breaking the law. Damn it. Even if that's impossible. The chain wrapped around the wheel. And we can't just stop the bomb, stall for time, or move the truck. Then there's nothing we can do. Hey, hey. Hey, check it out. Huh? See? There's some kind of machine on top of the metal box, because as you mentioned. Huh? huh? A machine on top of the box? Hmm. Oh, this? It looks like a card reader. A card reader? Hmm. Maybe. We can disarm the bomb if we swipe the card key. Are you serious? What? Hmm. Wait, that might be possible. Nagito would be, wouldn't be able to disarm the bomb if he didn't leave some way of doing that, right? Huh? Maybe he never planned to disarm it from the start. Hmm. No, I don't think that's it. Nagito probably is trying to make us do something here. What do you mean, something? So... Knowing Nagito, there's definitely a theme to this, I think. I do, too. A theme. Hmm. That bastard probably wants us to do, would do something messed up like that. Right. Then we gotta find that. To Nagito's trying to make us do something here. If that's true, what is he trying to make us do? I think he's trying to make the traitor come up. And the machine, all the machines have stopped. More importantly, what's the thing over there? Was that there when I first came here? Running away wouldn't solve anything. <laughs> Whoever saw the bombs will get caught in the explosion if they didn't have a way to disarm right. them. If you think about it like that, then it's obvious the way to disarm them, right? There'd be a way to disarm them. Yeah, there is. Uh, why? Who you go? A theme. The bastard probably would do something messed up like that. Um, I feel like there's something that wasn't here at first. The first time I came here. The laptop on the top of the conveyor belt. This wasn't here last time I came here, right? How suspicious. Hmm? It looks suspicious. It might be good if we examine it thoroughly. Yeah, you're probably right. As soon as I touched the laptop, some kind of program began running all of a sudden, and almost immediately a video started playing. Hello there. Why, hello everyone. Great work. You really found the bombs, huh? Believing in you was completely worth it. Nagito? It looks like a video message from Nagito. A video message. If he got something to say, then he can say it to our faces. Hey, bastard. Just hold on. For now, let's just watch it through the end. Now then. Now then. Now that you guys have found the bombs, all you need to do is stop it. To tell you the truth, it's actually not that hard to do. You can see the card reader on top of the metal box. Yeah, it's probably programmed to see, like, everybody's cards. As long as you scan an e-handbook, it'll disarm the bombs. Leave it to me. All right, if that's the case, then just leave it to me. However, it's only the trader's handbook. Well, it won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm the bomb, you have to be the trader's student handbook. And to be honest, I found out who the trader was after secretly monitoring everyone's activity. <sighs> but I was a little annoyed that they never came forward. So if things stay this way, it looks like I lost, right? That's why I was thinking it should be another battle. So this is going to be your last chance, trader. What are you going to do? Everyone's life depends on you. Whether or not you save them is also up to you. Now then, I wonder how this is going to end. Will the trader's identity finally be revealed? Yep, that's exactly how I expected from Nagito. And with that, the video ended. The trader's student handbook. Don't tell so me. that's it. This is all a trap to weed out the trader. Hey, hey. Is there seriously even a traitor? If there is, they should come forward already. I mean, their life's in danger too, you know? That's true, but... Yo. Stop whining and complaining. We should do it one at a time. You. Don't be stupid. If we... Someone besides the traitor uses the handbook. Hey, hey. Is it really stupid to be fighting over something like this? And so, with an annoyed expression on her face, Chiaki walked over to the bomb without saying a word. Took her handbook out of her pocket. Huh? And without hesitating, swiping your card on the card reader. <laughs> Looks like it was wrong. See? Who's next? Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Even if you make a mistake, the bombs might blow up. You think so? But they didn't. Hey! That's just a fluke. Don't act so careless in a situation like this. Anyway. Well, I guess Chiaki's not the traitor. I don't think the traitor would have swiped their handbook right away like she did. Hmm. So what are we gonna do? Who who wants to try next? Hey, hey, hey! Like I said, don't act so careless. Swiping the wrong card might. 
might be safe, but only once you know. Hey, what happened? Well... Nothing. I, I, I might be overthinking it, but the engine somehow sounds... Then when Kazuichi's face turned pale, he rushed over to the truck. And then he, he tilted his head towards the engine and he silently shouted, ah! It's out of gas! What'd you say? Huh? huh? What's going to happen if there's no gas? I already told you it was going to blow! But isn't it too soon? I mean, there's still time until noon. Are you kidding me? Did Nagito miscalculate? Serious? Miscalculate? Ugh. If you're going to set us up at least, get your calculations right, damn it! At least Monokuma knows how to set up a schedule. Uh, or how to keep a schedule. Hey, we can't do anything about it. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, yeah there's only one thing we can do. Huh? What is it? What do we have to do? Pray. Are you kidding what? Are you fucking serious? <sighs> then we should run. With those words, we started sprinting away. And that's when it happened. It is all right. It is not a bomb. Huh? All of a sudden, inside the factory began overflowing with dazzling light. What the hell is this? Um, Looks like they were fireworks. Fireworks? While we stood there dumbfounded, the fireworks slowly decreased their intensity. And eventually... Oh my. Um, this means... Ah. It wasn't a bomb?! Huh? What the heck? I mean, Nagito said... Um, so it's just as I thought. As you thought. Hey, hey. Hey, everyone, look over there. The laptop. It looks like it's playing another video. Is it Nagito again? We immediately rushed over to the laptop. Ah, <laughs> uh, so... Were you surprised? Seriously, think about it. Do you really think there's enough bombs to blow up an entire island? Even if there were, a guy like me would never be able to use them. Damn it! So it was all a bluff. Then... What was the bomb he detonated at the hotel? Um. Nagito went to the octagon inside the funhouse, right? Don't tell me. Is that where he got that bomb? But it definitely wasn't strong enough to blow up the island. Nagito was lying about that. You piss me off. Is he still watching us from somewhere? If he's not, then how did he get? How did he time his message so perfectly? Hmm. Looks like. No, it looks like the video is set to play after the explosion by the wireless signal from the detonator. But why did he have to use a video message? That's one thing I don't get. Hey, hey. Let me think about that after we watch the whole thing. You're right. Hey. So how'd it go? Did the traitor come forward? If I had to guess, well, I'd say they didn't, right? So then which is it? It'd make me very happy if you guys could tell me. I'll be at the warehouse next door watching, waiting for your answer. From there, we'll compare our answers and I'll let you know who the traitor really is. See you later. The warehouse next door? That's where Nagito is. You. This time, I'll make sure to beat the crap out of him. Right. Then I'll deliver the final blow and smash his head in with a wrench. Jeez. You bastards, what are you even Bastard. saying? You guys can just beat the shit out of him because the one who's gonna... Or because I'm the one who's gonna fucking kill him. Mm. You guys have totally flipped your lids. Now is not the time to be calm. We need to stop them. That is an order. You are right. Let us make haste. Oh, boy. I mean... The thing is, is, right, like, that was a good bluff on Nagito's part, honestly. Uh, because Nagito's crazy enough to do that crap. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Hey, I totally know how you feel, but you need to calm down, buddy. Wait. Shut up! Huh? Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry faces instantly transformed into a look of caution. Akane, what is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of the door. The other side of the door? As I listened carefully, I could make out a soft sound coming from inside the warehouse. Music. Psh, what is he planning? Is this another one of his Nagito traps? Huh? Maybe the moment we open the bomb, or the door, the real bomb is going to kaboom. Now then. All right, let us open it and find out. Huh? Please do not, Akane. It's too dangerous. Yo. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. No, no, no. That's not the problem. Leave it to me. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and sl uh, slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Huh? huh? It's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. Hey, hey. I knew it. It's a trap. Seriously, stop it, okay? You? I didn't tell you. Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I'm just gonna use a little bit more force. Huh? What happened to opening it slowly? I kind of ignored their protests and with mighty, with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Bam! Ah! It's gonna blow up. Instinctively, we tensed our bodies and braced ourselves. But huh? what is this? 
What yeah. happened? Look inside. It sure is dark. Looks like there aren't any lights on. Is Nagito really in here? The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, a loud hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full hey, volume. Do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nagito like listening to this suppressing crap? No, I'm not talking about the music. As if on cue it suddenly started. Huh? It's on fire! A fearsome blaze suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse and like fiery wings spreading before Whoa. us. What? What's going on? For now, we must extinguish these flames. Let us hurry and put them out. Hey, hey. But how are we supposed to put the fire out? Um, there should be a fire extinguisher supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those. Damn it. Got it. Let's head to the break room. After listening to Sonya, we ran into the factory. Where's, is this the break room over here? Yes, it is. The break room is inside here, right? Where are the fire extinguisher supplies? Up here. Huge supply lined up of plastic bottles. It looks like there's some kind of liquid inside of them. You found it. Those are the fire grenades. Fire grenades. They're basic fire extinguishing goods. When you throw them in a fire, the container breaks and the chemical inside them puts out the fire. But this is strange. The last time I peeked inside this place, I recall seeing the fire extinguishing supplies too. Hey. This should be plenty. Let's hurry up and go back to the warehouse. We we'll grab the fire grenades and rush back to the warehouse. Uh oh. Somebody might have tampered with that. We might be creating our own bomb. Um, guys, um, make sure you don't get too close to the fire. It's dangerous. Um, take care. Take care to not inhale the smoke as well. We should throw the grenades from the door at the same time. Damn it. Looks like a, the curtain is black. The curtain in the back is burning up. I have to aim it right. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's go! I feel like this is making it worse. We aimed for the curtain and threw all the fire grenades one after another, but... Hey, is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? Exactly! The curtain absorbed the impact of the thrown grenades, which fell on the floor and shattered. They were completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensifying? If the fire continues to rise, it will inflame the ceiling. This is bad. We've already used up all the fire grenades. What are we gonna do? All we can do now is pray for rain! Don't be stupid! There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it. It's raining? <laughs> the sprinklers. So this is the power of the Japanese Terra Terra Bozu. That's not it. It looks like the sprinklers activated. Oh, the sprinklers. They must have detected the smoke and turned on. Water continued to vigorously pour out of the sprinklers. After a while, the fire in the warehouse completely is extinguished. Looks like the fire is out. Uh that's a relief. Damn it. The hell? Uh, man, my merch is drenched. It got splattered in water and now it is soaked. It is so wet. Hey, hey. hey, is it okay to look inside now? Just a minute. Huh? Uh, time out, time out. You cannot, uh, uh, no way. Well, why can't we go inside? Hey, um... Smoke is a hazardous gas that I'll still spread throughout the warehouse. It's gonna ventilate for a little while. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It'd be a problem if we breathed in any lingering smoke. So... so, for the sake of your health, please wait in for a little while, okay? While you are waiting, why don't you check out the Monokuma Theater that I freshly prepared? <laughs> this game. I love this game a lot. Uh, everything is a lie. Monokuma doesn't exist. The Monokuma Theater doesn't exist. Everything is just fiction. There's no meaning whatsoever. No relationship whatsoever. Everything was made. The Monokuma cannot be found anywhere. What are you doing here anyway? <laughs> okay, Monokuma. Everything's a lie. Don't believe anything. And everything is just death. <laughs> Good job, yes, Monokuma. Ah, uh, yes. Now that Monokuma theater is over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. 
Uh, I'm finally starting to feel a little bit better. Just because my important merch was ruined doesn't mean I should get depressed about it forever. Uh, whenever I feel depressed, I need to ask myself this question. Hold on. Why are your eyes on the front? I got it. So we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened and be positive. Um, we get it already. Jeez. Enough with your BS. Did I double skip? Okay, no, I didn't. Good. The okay. rest to you. Yes, leave the rest to me. Ah, uh, I turned on the light for you guys too. You might hurt yourself in the dark. Here. Now, uh, now, go ahead. Go right ahead, ahead. Perhaps. He's not getting inside. Hmm. He said he was in, in. He said he was in his video message, but he probably escaped by now. Huh. There was so much fire and smoke, and I thought I'd finally be able to beat the crap out of him this time. Hey. Well, why don't we go inside and see how he's it's doing? You... Hi, May. What happened? Well, nothing happened, but I don't know why. My heart is racing and it won't settle down. I I'm scared. As if an intense malice is about to come out and stab me. Stab me through my whole body. I can't even budge. Feels like everything is too late. Why do I feel this anxiousness? Anyway, let's go inside. A charred door permeated throughout the where a charred odor permeated throughout the warehouse, and the air was so heavy it was hard to breathe. The moment I set foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, bewilderment, anxiety, and fear overtook me at once. Hey, hey! It's not me. I am sorry. Uh, I am terribly sorry. Are you serious? Huh, Miss Sonia? Say it ain't so. Mm. No, not that. It's like a smell I've never smelled before. Like. Well, it makes sense that there's so strange smells and a bunch of different things that burn. Hey, hey. Hey, everyone. Did you know about that curtain? You mean the curtain that was on fire? What do you mean by no? See? I didn't notice until now the curtain was burning. But there's space on the other side of it, too. When I looked at what where Chiaki was pointing, there was still space beyond the burned, tattered curtain. I walked towards the burned, tattered curtain with the slow, methodical steps. I never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't keep holding my breath. And then, on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice that I had been feeling. It's probably Nagito. What? No, 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 no. What? 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 No shot! Oh my god! What the fuck? I did not expect anything of this degree at all. What? I had no idea what I was looking at. By the time I realized it, I was looking at the remains of Nagito, the ultimate lucky student. Time had already stopped. Oh my god, it's actually real! Ah! Uh... What? I eventually... Eventually, the shock finally registered with me. It has not registered with me, so you're faster to recover time than me. Excuse me? Uh, he was the last person I expected to die. I even edited a video where I said I need to talk to Nagito because I expect him to go to the very end. Holy crap. The shock... A numb feeling is spread across the center of my brain almost instantly. Nagito is dead. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend the reality of it yet. Huh? What? <laughs> What's interesting is my first thought is actually Sonya, which is so scary to me. Be, uh, like, okay, the, 
the thing is, is that the Nordic Spear, right? That was hit that he was hit with. Um, and the Nordic Spear is something that Sonya would actually be able to know how to use. Oh no. What? What's going on here? You is, is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's right, it's Nagito. He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us, and that's why I can't believe it. Me neither! Nagito ended up in s such a cruel state. Nagito is dead? Deep down, I believed. That when the killing finally ended, I'd never see this guy again. I never expected to be looking at Nagito's dead body like this. Nagito probably thought the same thing. I couldn't help seeing it in his dead, frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagito couldn't escape the truth. But even something that as small as that. Holy. Body has been discovered. Holy. Like, okay. It's like one of those things where I'm like, oh my god, Nagito's dead. But I'm like, oh my god, Nagito's dead. It's like, I have this weird duality about this. Because like, with Nagito still being alive, I could focus and direct my attention at Nagito. And, like, he was actually becoming a really good character, right? And his build-up has absolutely been an amazing experience and an amazing ride. But now what? Now who could it be? What could it be? And all of the, like, who, what, when, where, why, hows become a thing. And it's like, oh, my God. Okay. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Don't tell me. The the body discovery announcement? Then then it's for real? Hey! Then Nagito's really dead? Damn it. it! It's not that he's dead. If the body discovery announcement was made, does that mean Nagito was killed? G killed! Right. Plus, it's one of us. I mean, that's what it must mean, right? One of us killed Nagito. One of us killed him so brutally. <sighs> then it's going to start again. Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, right? Of course. Yep, we gotta do it. We gotta find out who Nagito's killer is. Hey, hey. No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave this island, right? She then the time for action is now. So, allow me to give you the familiar Monaco of- Hold it right there! It. What? Don't get in my way like that. I was about to whip out the Monokuma file in such a cool way. Shut up! I cannot stand this anymore! How much longer are you going to keep putting them through this? No more! I will not let you! I will make sure to pulverize your evil intentions! Say something! Oh, now I remember who you are, Monami. You, you just noticed? Anyway, Monami, if you're going to talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? Huh? What's your intentions, anyway? Why are you keeping everything so cooped up on this island? I'm sure everyone wants to know, you know? <laughs> what? No fair! You're shutting up, too? Please, please. Enough already! We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please, do not say anything else, and that will confuse us. Hey. Anyway, let us begin. Hmm? But, this is just... I mean... In the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it again, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't prevent it. Uh. I know, but that's the only way we can survive, right? Nice! Ah, looks like your kids are well, way more well-behaved than Monami. Don't fuck with me! We're tired of this too, you know. That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. Uh, does that mean you guys are getting bored of this school trip? Actually, oh, don't worry. The end is near. The end. What's the matter? Oh, don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You've already noticed it, right? They're going to talk about the bomb. Yep. <laughs> the meaning behind the Monokuma timer? Um, I guess there's only two days left, huh? When the timer reaches zero, two days from now... What'll happen to us? Mm -hmm. mm, the killing school trip will be over. Hey, hey. If this will finally be over, does that mean that we can go home? What are you gonna do? 
Oh, don't count your bears before they've hatched. There's still something you gotta do before that, so, right? Once it's again. The Monokuma file. You guys need to find out who Nagito's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends here, there won't be an afterword at all. Do your well, best. Wait, hold on! I won't, I won't let you escape this time! Wait right here! Hmm. What do you guys think? If the school trip is nearly at the end, it's safe to think we can go home, right? Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagito's case first. Even if we can go home, it'll be the end of us if we screw up here. Right. Then let's hurry up and solve Nagito's case so that we can go up all but go back home. However, it's nice to think somebody, everyone could go home, but that's impossible, right? I mean, someone in this room did kill Nagito. There's a killer among us. The weight of those words began to sink into me. That was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim itself was Nagito. Because his death was abnormally cruel. No, it wasn't that. just that. There was something more to that. And whatever it was, it stuck inside me. Ho! Oh. First, we need to look at the Monica file. Oh my god, they have new music for this! They have new music! Oh my god. That, they did it in the first game where they gave us a whole new song and a whole new thing and a thing and like telling us that we're close to the end. Oh shit. The victim is Nagito Kamida. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near the Monokuma plushie factory. The estimated time of death is believed about to be noon sharp. Not only is there a spear stabbed into his stomach, there are multiple wounds on each, each of his thighs. Furthermore, the laceration on his left arm and knife impaled through his right hand. What a tragic situation. Just reading this is making me depressed. Huh? Is there something wrong with the Monokuma file? Hmm, again, but what's wrong with it? Not only is there a spear stab in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there is a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. Yep. Hmm, it's definitely weird. Mm. Well, I guess I'll find out if I look around. That's what investigation is for. Don't worry or form any conclusions on your own. That makes me more worried than what I should be. Mm. We can discuss it later. Right now, our only chance is to investigate. So we should investigate first. Mm. If we don't, there will be nothing for us to discuss. Well, I guess you're right. Let's start with the area surrounding Nagato's body. And I should start with the back of the warehouse. Because this curtain blocked most of the water. This area wasn't affected by the sprinklers all that much. Thanks to that, I can probably investigate Nagito's body. I never thought I'd have to investigate Nagito's body. He probably didn't expect to end up like this either. Well, in the next episode of Dang in Europa 2, Goodbye to Despair, which, holy shit. I, this is not the scene I expected to see. We will see you guys in the next episode while we figure out what the heck is going to happen to Nagito, or what happened to Nagito, really. Like, not, again, not the person I expected at all. I'm with my main character and absolutely with him right now. Who the heck did this? Like, I'm like, again, it's that weird duality. Like, okay, he's gone. That's cool. But also, goddamn, he did he actually deserve to die? Kind of mentality. Anyway, love you guys. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. <sighs> Crazy stuff.